Hi, my name is Miss Nutton and in this presentation I'm going to talk you through how languages work at Tarpoli. But first, you can watch some videos on the next slide of two of our former students who will tell you how they're using languages. Hola, me llamo Olivia. Just a few years ago I was getting ready to start at Tarpoli and I fell in love with languages as soon as I got there. I did French all the way through high school and I picked up Spanish at A-level and I'm now a student at the University of Sheffield studying Spanish and Portuguese living in Salamanca, and in January I'll be living in Lisbon. Good luck at Tarpoli, I hope you love it. Hi everybody, my name's Poppy and I study French and Spanish at the University of York. This year I was on my year abroad and I went to Lille, which is in the north of France. I had the most amazing time and my highlights were being able to meet so many people from not only France but lots of other countries. Um, being able to use my language in the country because it's so fun to realise how you can express yourself in another language and finally being able to travel to so many different places and experience lots of different cultures. I hope you enjoyed hearing about Poppy and Olivia's experiences in France and Spain and the opportunities that are open to them because they can speak another language. As Poppy said, the feeling of going to another country and being able to express yourself in a different language is really amazing. But learning languages help develop lots of other skills, such as developing your awareness of other cultures, improving your memory, and it even helps with your job prospects. On the next slide, I'll explain what languages you'll study at Tarpoli and a little bit more information about lessons. When you start at Tarpoli, you'll study either French or Spanish, depending on your tutor group. Later in this year, you'll have the chance to express a preference for which language you'd like to study. However, most students just wait to see which language they get and don't worry about which one they've done at primary school as it's our job to make sure you love whichever language you get. You study this language all the way through Key Stage 3 and most students go on to study this language at GCSE. You can study both French and Spanish all the way up to A-level at Tarpoli and we follow the AQA exam board for both GCSE and A-level. When you start your lessons in Year 7, you will immediately learn how to communicate with your peers and your teacher, develop confidence in your pronunciation and learn all about what it means to be French or Spanish. On the next slide, I'll go through some of the opportunities for learning outside of the classroom. There are so many ways to develop your French and Spanish outside of the classroom. In Year 7, everyone has the opportunity to take part in the Foreign Language Spelling Bee. This starts off as a fun class competition, but the winners of this stage go through to a school competition and even regional finals, which take place in Manchester. Sometimes we even get students who go through to the national finals of this prestigious competition, which takes place every year at Cambridge University. In year eight, students enter the foreign language translation bee, another opportunity to really excel and compete against other schools. In addition to this, students can use apps such as Linguascope and Quizlet to really develop their French and Spanish vocabulary outside of the classroom and has lots of fun games that students can use. When students reach year 11, in the Spanish side, there's a trip to Barcelona and on the French side, a trip to Paris. These are brilliant opportunities to really use those language speaking skills that you've developed over the last five years and to really see the culture of these fascinating countries.